Newly elected Prime Minister Pan Kam Vi Pahavan highlighted the seven urgent issues that the government will tackle over the next five years. When presenting a draft of the ninth five-year National Socioeconomic Development Plan for 2021 to 25 and State Budget Plan for 2021 to 25 to the National Assembly on Monday. Addressing financial affairs, particularly public debt and financial league, is one of the seven urgent issues the government will tackle over the next five years. Prime Minister Pan Kami Pavan said the amount of revenue generated was insufficient and did not align with the potential offered by the country, meaning there were inadequate financial resources to drive development. Mr. Pankam vowed to increase revenue and address the chronic public debt in order to boost economic growth and to incorporate the austerity policy into the national agenda. Secondly, the government will take strong actions to counter social ills such as corruption, drug trafficking and road accidents, which are hindering the country's development. The Prime Minister said the government is keen to create an environment that is conducive to attracting more investments and to take action against officials who abuse their position of power for personal gain. Thirdly, the government will focus on economic recovery in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic and create more job opportunities. In addition, the government will address economic vulnerability focusing on quality growth and reducing reliance on the ineffective extraction of natural resources to boost economic growth. The government will also push for the implementation of priority projects, especially those relating to productivity and services. Fifth, the government will try to reduce development disparities between urban and rural areas to allow more people to access basic public services, especially health and education. Six, the government will focus on human resource development, moving towards professionalism in response to the 4.0 digital age and new normal. Finally, issues relating to exchange rates, fluctuations, and a depreciation of the GIP will be addressed by boosting the production of goods for export and reducing imports. Laos is vulnerable to external shocks, climate change, and natural disasters, the effects of which have been exacerbated by the pandemic and have increased the government's public debt and fiscal deficit. Over the past five years, the economy has grown at an annual average rate of 5.8%, lower than 7.2% approved by the National Assembly. However, this figure is higher than the global average economic growth rate, thanks to the support of development partners and friendly countries. Of particular significance is the fact that the uninterrupted construction of large-scale development projects continues to drive economic growth. These include the Lao-China Railway, Vinchan Boten Expressway, special economic zones, tourism development projects, and industrial parks. Construction of the Laos-China Railway is now more than 90% complete and is scheduled for full completion at the end of this year. On Tuesday, National Assembly members debated the socioeconomic development and state budget plans for 2021 to 2025. Members of the public are welcome to voice their concerns about the development issues via telephone hotline 156 fax 021413528 PO Box 662 or email na at gmail.com. So I'm Spaxon Silapit and the news team reports from the new National Assembly building in Vientiane Capital. Thank you very much for now.